Hi guys, certified professional dog trainer Alex Ritz here today to talk with you a little bit about how long you can safely leave your dog home alone and how to prepare them for being left home alone. So for the most of us, we work an eight hour day and for many dogs, that is a perfectly acceptable amount of time to stay home. It is better if they can have a break during the middle of the day, either you can come home on your lunch break or you can have a dog walker let them out, but eight hours isn't going to mean that you can't have a dog and have a dog responsibly. That is true in the case of adult dogs though. Puppies do need more frequent breaks because their bladder control isn't as good and it's smaller and they're still learning. So as a general rule of thumb, you'll take or you can leave your dog alone for however many hours they are old in months plus one. So what it looks like is if you have a three month old dog, you can leave them alone for three plus one or four hours. If you have a five month old dog, you can typically leave them alone for five plus one or six hours. So that means that if you are working a full-time eight hour job, you need to make sure that when you have a puppy, you're able to come home on lunch breaks or have somebody else let them out throughout the day. Occasionally, someone might ask if they can leave their dog alone for about 12 hours. Maybe there's a longer day, meetings before or after their regular work, and 12 hours is the maximum amount of time you ever wanna leave a dog because otherwise you risk missing out on a potential health problem or something like that. And they need food, right? They need to be fed, they need to make sure they have fresh water. And if you ever have to leave your dog alone for 12 hours, they need to have an appropriate way to go to the bathroom and make sure that they have water. You don't wanna leave your dog crated for 12 hours. And you don't just wanna leave them loose in your house for 12 hours if they're house trained and unlikely to go to the bathroom. Sometimes people have a way for their dog to have access to an outdoor shelter where they can freely go to the bathroom throughout the day or if you have a puppy that you're potty training through a litter box or through um, like a puppy pad, those are acceptable ways to leave your puppy for a little bit longer and make sure that they have the ability to go to the bathroom. If you don't leave them with a way that they can go to the bathroom and feel comfortable doing so, you risk them developing a urinary tract infection or other health problems from holding their bladder too long. However, all that being said, if it's at all possible for you to have a friend come let your dog out, have your dog board somewhere for the day, send them to dog daycare for the day, anything like that, that is much more advisable than leaving your dog for 12 hours. That should only be in a very rare exceptional circumstance with those things provided. Your dog should never be left alone longer than that. So 24 hours, no. Your dog needs access, like I said, to a safe way to go to the bathroom. They need to be fed, they need to have water, and they need someone to make sure that they're doing okay. Problems can come up very quickly, so you don't wanna leave your dog that long and risk them having a health problem that you could have prevented had you noticed sooner. So if you're gonna be gone longer than 12 hours, especially, um, if your dog is a younger dog, anything like that, you really, really need to consider boarding your dog, having somebody come stay at your house, or another option to make sure your dog's needs are met. All that being said, when you're typically leaving your dog alone for your normal, you know, six to eight hour workday shift, you wanna make sure that they're set up for success. So one way to do that is to practice leaving them for short periods of time by teaching them to stay in one spot, often called place, and ensuring that they're comfortable being separate from you. So even if I'm working from home a lot of the time, especially with the pandemic, my dogs still practice being on the other side of a baby gate, being in a crate, and having time away from me so that when I do leave the house to run errands or do other things, they don't have a complete meltdown and aren't stressed about it. So having some sort of crate or pen that your dog is already comfortable with, already familiar with, that you've practiced leaving them in for short periods of time, as well as ensuring that that pen is like a bed that they really like, something that smells like you, that is comforting to them, something that's safe for them to chew on, and anything like that that's gonna help them feel comfortable, that it will be safe to leave them with for your individual dog, will really help set them up for success when you do leave them. For more tips and tricks, hit subscribe, check us out at houndgames.com, and hope this video helps you.